Obstructive sleep apnea is a disease that um, is very common in uh, people as they get older. This disease um, causes people to stop breathing for a while while they're asleep, um, and it's due to their airway uh, collapsing. The back of their tongue falls against the back wall of the pharynx and obstructs airflow. And this occurs because the muscles relax when you're asleep. And the result is that the person is unable to breathe and their oxygen level drops and their level of carbon dioxide in their blood goes up. And um, the person eventually wakes up and restarts breathing again. But the cycle can go on repetitively over the night, uh, literally hundreds of times per night, waking the person up so the person never gets uh, very deeply asleep. Our group has a large uh, project going on that's funded by the National Institutes of Health to try to identify the circuitry in the brain that's responsible for waking the brain up during sleep apnea as distinct from the circuitry that activates breathing and opens the airway. And our goal is to find ways to augment the respiratory circuitry and improve ventilation without waking the brain up or, to, or suppress, even suppress waking the brain up during sleep. We use a model in which the mouse sits in a round container and we have access to uh, put in carbon dioxide or oxygen intermittently every five minutes we switch the atmosphere in the cage for 30 seconds to an atmosphere that's high in carbon dioxide or low in oxygen or both. Then we looked at the brain to see where in the brain the circuits were turned on due to the high carbon dioxide. We found that there was a group of nerve cells in the appropriate part of the brain that use a neurotransmitter um, that's called CGRP. CGRP stands for calcitonin gene-related peptide. We uh, were able to use a, a strain of mice in which uh, a special tag called Cree recombinase um, had been inserted into the CGRP nerve cells. Um, and that little tag allows us to be able to insert genes into those cells and manipulate those cells specifically. So the first study we did was to insert into the CGRP cells what's called an optogenetic channel. And this allows us to be able to use a light beam to activate the CGRP cells. And when you do that, the animal wakes up. So that's good. It shows that these cells can, in fact, wake the animal up. And then we used a second kind of tag called a chemogenetic channel, which allows you to give the animal a injection of a drug that otherwise is, does nothing. But if the animals have that chemogenetic channel inserted in the CGRP cells, after you give the drug, the animals will wake up and they'll stay awake for several hours. So we had good reason to think that these cells had the property we were looking for, of waking up the brain. The next step was to insert a different kind of optogenetic channel into those nerve cells that inhibited them. And when we inserted this channel, we found that when you shined the appropriate color of laser light onto the CGRP cells, that you could actually prevent the animals from waking up when you gave them a high CO2 atmosphere. That means that these cells are necessary for the CO2 arousal to occur. In the last experiment, we implanted optical fibers over the target areas and we were able to turn off the terminals of the CGRP cells where they make contact with their target cells only and not turn off the rest of the CGRP system. It seemed that we could almost obliterate the CO2 arousal response when we turned off that pathway. The long-term goal of the research is to come up with drugs that will affect specific pathways in the brain that will allow you to turn down the tendency to wake up and turn up the airway opening so that you either don't have apneas or you are able to come out of the apnea without waking up.
the person. And the reason that's important is that the repetitive wakening through the night um, actually is thought to cause cognitive impairment. People are not thinking clearly the next day because they haven't had a, a full night's sleep. If our work is successful, we'll be able to design a drug that will be able to keep the person asleep um, while allowing the airway more time to open.